Careers in engineering are interesting and varied, but more younger people need to consider this as an option. We met some young engineers on a visit to a school in rugby to find out how they're inspiring the next generation. How do you turn some of these into some of this? Well, this lot are here to find out. Are you ready for the challenge? Yes! Here at Northlands Primary School in Rugby, everyone's talking tomatoes. Who likes ketchup? The aim of today's lesson, teaching Year 5 that when it comes to making ketchup, there's more to it than squishing tomatoes. OK, so what we're going to do today is we're going to learn about how we go from the raw ingredients of tomatoes to the finished product. Sophie, Paul and Cameron might look at home in the classroom, but none of them are teachers. They're part of an outreach programme developed and run by the Institution of Chemical Engineers. When I was young, I got this um, outreach in my school and it was amazing. It gave, it gave me direction and inspired me to um, study engineering. And today I'm a chemical engineer, so I just feel that I can give back to um, some of these kids and inspire them as well. Working together, the children first have to decide what happens when in the ketchup making process. So they're going to have to consider the fact that you've got to really clean them, you've got to prepare them, you've got to mash them down, filter them and uh, eventually cook them and process them before you bottle them, stick them on a lorry and then stick them to the supermarket before you purchase them. Preparing, pulling, labelling, transporting and sealing. But this is about much more than cultivating good teamwork. It's helping children to think about the manufacturing process and the role that engineers play at every step along the way. So what we're going to do now, we're going to hand out some photos, some pictures of the different machines or the different process units that you might use to do all of these steps in. We want to inspire, you know, but the fact that they've worked out their own answer is, is what's important. And, you know, they can, uh, we, we want to encourage um, kids to, uh, to do that and to get the, the pleasure, the excitement of discovery and the excitement of making things really ingrained in them so that uh, they've got a real hunger to, uh, to do that in their careers. I want to be a chemical engineer because um, I want to help um, to like, make water cleaner. I want to be a chemical engineer to help feed poorer countries and make life-saving medicines. I want to build fast, easy to run, safe and cheap uh, transportation for people. I kind of want to be someone who builds things. Well, try and invent a colorant and apple juice. It's nice to hear kids being so enthusiastic. I know that when I was at school, I didn't necessarily have the opportunities to, you know, get to speak to real life engineers or real life scientists and things like that as much. And I think it's great that we're able to get into schools and do that. And that's what it's all about, because today's children are the engineers of tomorrow, handed the responsibility for making the world a more sustainable place. There's a real buzz in the classroom, isn't there? They really have enjoyed it. And I think as well as presenting people to, or engineers to them face to face, it's giving a lot of children an aspiration. Chemical engineering might not be a career path that they've ever thought of before, and now they've seen it for real. They've seen people talking about it and engaging with it, talking about their, their actual jobs day to day. I think a lot of the children will be enthused and inspired to become, or, or maybe to follow that career themselves and it seems to be inspiring. Yeah, it's a very interesting job to work in and it's very fascinating. As well as laying the foundations for the next generation of engineers along the way.